Welcome to Painted Kids Studio, where we make amazing art videos. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post a new art video. Hello friends, Miss Kate here, and today we're drawing something that I haven't drawn in a really, really long time. So this is an adorable little baby squirrel, and I have my squirrel holding an acorn, but you could put anything you want in the squirrel's hands. So I am working with Sharpie on paper today. You guys can work with whatever you have at home. If you're lucky, maybe you have some canvas and paint and you can be painting along with me when I'm coloring. So to start our baby squirrel, I am gonna start with kind of like, not a full circle, but like about that much of a circle. So I need some like room for ears up here. And because I'm working with Sharpie, I don't wanna draw the whole circle. Now, if you guys are working with pencil, which is what I recommend, you guys could draw the whole circle and then when you put the ears on everything, you can erase um, part of your line. But because I'm working with Sharpie, I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm drawing most of a circle and then I'm gonna draw, squirrels have like, they're not like really big ears, but they're kind of like a little pointy, kind of like that. So they're not like as big as like maybe cat ears, they're a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and connect the ears like that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put little pinky middles inside those little ears. I do that for all my furry animals. So after you have the ears done, we're gonna go ahead and put the squirrel's eyes on. So I like to put, squirrel's eyes are kinda of like more on the side of their head. So I always like when I'm drawing squirrels, I like to put their eyes like really wide set, so kinda of towards the edges of its face. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple little sparkles in there because I love to do my cutie eyes. So there's a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom, two sparkles. Okay, so my squirrel has eyes. Squirrels have a teeny tiny little nose. It's just like a teeny little like oval, like that. That's it. And they have a little mouth. So I'm gonna do my teeniest little swoopy whoopy, like that. All right, so that's, that's the squirrel's face. Pretty easy. The next thing I'm gonna do is the squirrel's belly. So to start the belly, I'm actually just gonna go like this, like a short curve like this, because I need to have, if you look at my example, I want one of the arms to be reaching around the belly like this. So I'm only gonna draw this teeny little line to start because then I'm gonna draw this arm here. All right, so this is the line of the belly, so now I'm gonna draw the line of the arm. So I'm gonna be like this, like that, and then, to make the little paw, I'm gonna swoop around like that. And then to make it look a little more like a paw, I usually put these little finger lines in there. So it kinda looks like, like an animal's paw right here. And then I can go ahead and um, start drawing the rest of the belly. So I'm gonna, the belly was here, so I'm gonna just continue like this, like that. All right, so <clears throat> after we have the curve of the belly, we're gonna go ahead and start on the other side of the squirrel. So one thing that I want is I want the squirrel's hands, and let me bring my example out. I want my squirrel's hands to be like holding something. So I need another arm that's kind of reaching around close to this other paw that we have already drawn so that I can put something here. So to do that, I'm gonna start maybe like, not in the middle of the face, but like not, like probably like right here in between the eye and the mouth. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna swoop around, and I'm gonna draw that paw, and I'm gonna swoop back like that. So now I've got two paws, and they're kinda coming together here. So one line is swooping down from the face, and again, it's not like all the way over here, it's kinda closer to the mouth. Swooping down, around, and then back up. Now I gotta decide what I want my squirrel to hold. So in my picture, it's an acorn, but it really could be anything. Maybe, maybe it's like a heart. Like she's giving a valentine to somebody or something. 
Okay, so you can put anything you want in here. It could be a birthday present, it could be flowers, it could be an Easter basket, it could be whatever you want, but I like to have the squirrel's hands holding something. All right, so after we have, so we've got the curve of the belly, we've got the two arms. The next thing I'm gonna do is the curve of the back. So the back is gonna be over here. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go curve down, curve down, and we're gonna go around like that and make a little paw. So this is gonna be like the back paw. And if you want to, you can put little feet on this one too, like little toes. Okay, so after I have this back foot done here, I'm gonna go ahead and do like the knee. So the knee is just gonna swoop up and it's gonna touch this arm and swoop back around. And then on this side, we're not gonna see this part of the leg, but we're gonna probably see a little bit of this foot kinda like peeking out like this. Okay, so now we've got the two front paws, we've got the two back paws, we've got the belly, and now the only thing we're missing on our squirrel is we're missing the big curly tail. So squirrels have these like really, really, really big curly tails. Like you can go as crazy as you want with this. So it's kind of like an S curve. So if you're not used to drawing these, the, the way that I like to tell people is think about like the, the letter S. So all you have to do is draw like a really curly letter S. Cause if you look at this shape, it's like an S, right? So if you want to start with one S, like this, then all you have to do once you get this first curve is you can trace it back to the, to the other end. So it has a thickness. And then after you are done with the tail, you guys are done. So you guys can put this squirrel wherever you want. Um, because I'm getting ready for spring here, I want the weather to warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in some grass. I might even put like a sun up here. And you guys, if you're working on canvas, once you're done with your pencil sketch, if you've been working with pencil, go ahead and sharpie it before you start painting and that will make it easier for you to paint because you'll be able to see your sketch through the paint. So I might actually put some flowers in here, but yeah, you guys decorate this however you want. When you get to painting or coloring, again, it doesn't have to be a brown squirrel. You can make it a pink squirrel if you want. Maybe I'll make mine a pink squirrel. So you guys can be really creative with the coloring of this squirrel. All right, that's our drawing of today. Um, thank you again for joining me, and I hope that she will be back joining me again tomorrow at 1 p.m. for another one.